Tonight, with that disturbing story out of Clayton County, a deputy knocked on a door and a dog rushed outside. The deputy drew his gun and fired, hitting the ground inches from the dog and a 13-year-old. Thanks so much for joining us tonight on News Edge at 11. I'm Christine Spiro. Fox 5's Denise Dillon is live in Clayton County on the story, and both the dog and teen Denise were hit by bullet fragments. Yeah, and that 13 year old spent most of the afternoon and evening at the hospital being treated. I talked to his mom, who, of course, is extremely upset and worried about her son, and she can't understand the actions of the deputy. She did not jump on the cop. She did not bite it, bite the cop. She did not bark at the cop. What if you would have killed my dog and my son? Malaysia Honeycutt gets angry and upset every time she thinks about what could have happened. Her three sons were home when a Clayton County Sheriff's deputy knocked on the door. Clayton County Sheriff's Office. Honeycutt's 13-year-old son opened the door. Their dog ran out. The deputy starts shouting, pulls out his gun, and fires. Clayton County Sheriff's Office. Get Get the team grabs his dog and goes back inside. You can hear the deputy ask if he's okay. Y'all all right? Kids, are y'all okay? A few minutes later, this video shows the teen limping as he walks across the porch. What, what happened? Oh, you just got pregnant. Come on, sweetie. come with me. Honeycutt raced home from work the moment her son called her. There were several patrol cars out front. She saw the gouge in the concrete by her front door where the bullet hit. So. You have several other tools on that belt besides a gun to defend yourself. All I can think of, what if his aim wasn't that good? Honeycutt took her son to the hospital where she says x-rays showed the bullet fragments. The dog Coco has a graze on her knee and a fragment in her abdomen. If you're that scared as a cop of a dog and you open fire on the dog and the child, you might not need to be an officer. Honeycutt says her son is extremely shaken up and so is she. It makes me sad to even think about it because what if that bullet went a little higher? I would not have a son. Yeah, the deputy was here to serve eviction papers. We contacted the sheriff's office for an interview or even a statement about what happened. That was several hours ago, and we still haven't heard back. Reporting live in Clayton County, Denise Stillen, Fox 5 News. Hard to imagine what could have happened if someone was hit. Uh, thanks so much, Denise.